Hey guys and welcome along to another video. Today's video is the next video in our beginner to winner series. This series documents my journey of putting down the controller and turning off all assists whilst trying to achieve my ultimate goal of becoming an A plus ranked driver. All the details of how you can track my progress via Kudos Prime is in the description below so make sure you go and check that out to keep tabs on how I'm getting on. To all you regular viewers of the channel, welcome back. If you're new and this is the first video, hello and welcome. We cover all sorts of GT Sport related content here, so if this is a bit of you, please consider subscribing. So this race is the second race since we've made the changes. It's daily race C round Nürburgring GP. We're in group two, I've chosen the Lexus and we've got 11 laps. As you would have seen, I was three seconds off pole, qualifying in 18th out of 19, and I've dropped down to driver rating B. That's shown the impact these changes have had on me, so it's going to be a real struggle again today. I've also dropped just down to 19th, so I'm last as we cross the start finish line to even start the race. So today's goal is generally just to minimise the catastrophic mistakes like I had in the last race that really, really cost me. And that's going to come through minimising spins. And to do that, I'm going to be more patient on the throttle. But other than that, we're just going to see what else happens. Get another race under my belt, more miles clocked up, and we'll just see what happens, really. As you can see, as we come out the Mercedes-Benz Arena, I'm really struggling with getting that power down. These cars are so powerful, I've just got to be more patient on the throttle, which I know already, and we're going to try and work on throughout, but it's going to be a real challenge for me today. Because we were slightly tail happy coming through the Mercedes-Benz Arena for the first time, we've lost a bit of ground to the guys in front. We're two and a half seconds-ish behind the guys battling for 17th, two guys up ahead. But I'm already noticing the advantage that the wheel gives. I can get the turn in right, although there was a bit of a slide, I can get the turn in right to the Schumacher S. That's something that I really struggled with with the DualShock 4. Just, it was all or nothing. I found them in terms of direction. This corner as well wasn't the quickest but the lines were pretty much spot on. So I think once I get the throttle right and I'm much more confident, I'm going to be much, much faster. So I can see the light, it's just going to take some time to get there. So we're entering the heavy braking zone for the second time at the end of the start finish straight and the guy in 18th is just going to spin and end up on the very inside of the barrier at Turn 1. So we've up a place, it'll be interesting to see how long we can keep him behind us. You join us at the end of lap 2 here, just coming into the final corner, which is much easier now I'm using a wheel. We've actually taken some time out of the guy in front. We've taken three tenths of a second out of him and the guy behind us has only taken a second out of us. It's progress. Something else that I've started to do in this race, so just experimenting with it, is fuel saving. So the more eagle-eyed of you will notice that I'm actually changing, or have been changing on some of my gear changes, halfway down the limiter. So I haven't been waiting for it to get up to the top like I did in the last race because I just want to see what the effect that has on my fuel load and when it comes to the pit stops, how much percentage I have left in the crash with everybody else. Um, it will be interesting because I hope I'll be able to get the jump on him or at least get much closer to him during the pits if I don't make a mistake and that is a big if. Right, so we're at the end of lap 3 now coming out the final corner and you will see that whilst the guy in front is still within sight we've lost a lot of time to the guy behind us, the Italian behind. He's now within a second of us here and we're going to start coming under some pressure. So coming down through the gears into the first part of the braking zone I am just going to be too eager to get on the power and round I go in an identical move to what he did a couple of laps ago. So. That is my first mistake. What a nightmare. This is another thing I struggle with, is getting going. Especially during this technical section, it's the worst place to end up recovering for a spin from. 
as I really, really struggle as I get a penalty there to get back up to speed. So as we come out of turn 12, the bit curve on the fifth lap, we're going to come into the pits this time round. The guy in 18th is now a Frenchman, about seven and a half seconds ahead, and we are just going to get too eager and lose it at the Vidal chicane. Struggle to find reverse. Oh, what a terrible time to make such a mistake. A mistake I've never made before, to be honest, just before the pits as well. But anyway, new boots on, another set of hards, and a full tank of fuel, which should see us through to the end. We're now, oh, we've got a long way to go to catch up with the guy in 18th, who's now a Portuguese guy. So it looks like 19th, unless anyone rage quits, is gonna be the best we can get this race. So to salvage this, the best thing we can do is treat it as a bit of a test session and just get those miles under our belts and try and put in, whilst remaining under control, the best lap times we can and see what we can take away and get some value from this session. So let's see what we can do. Our fastest lap so far is a pretty slow one in the 151s, but we can learn stuff anyway. As I come out of the hairpin here, I'm just going to make the same mistake, get on the power too early, be too eager. Thankfully the game resets me, otherwise I was destined for some lawn mowing action. This further just compounds where we're going to finish in the race last. But, let's try and learn something out of it. You join us a couple of laps later starting lap 9 and you'll notice that I actually put the fastest lap that I've done so far around the Nürburgring GP circuit a 51.7 so positive progress there and we haven't spun out yet but as I come through this part of the Mercedes arena I'm going to get a huge tanks lap run but I did save it so some more positives there before I would have been right round and facing the wrong way but we saved it, which I'm pretty damn happy with. So you join us coming into the final lap now, and there hasn't been too much to report to be honest. No major incidents, just been going around, logging more miles and soaking up more knowledge. I have actually though taken three seconds, I believe, out of the Portuguese guy in 17th. So had I not made those massive areas before, we could have had a race in our hands and maybe not come last, but it wasn't meant to be. So while I've got you on the last lap, I wanted to just run through some of the progress that I think I've gained during this race. So I think definitely I'm struggling and thinking less of the gears. I haven't really thought about those at all this race, and before I was struggling with them in the Viper. I've actually caught a couple of potential spins as well. I know I've had a couple of spins, but there were, I would have had a few more. So I've managed to catch a few as well, which is definitely progress. And finally, when I'm on track, I can hang with and actually catch others. So, taking the positives away from this race, I think we've been all right. And it's definitely been worthwhile and we've got some value. The negative though is that I'm not actually going to complete the race. I've never had this before. Time is going to expire before we finish the race. So, 18th for us, hands on hips again, but let's take away the positives. So, moving into the lobby, let's see how we get on. So, our fastest lap was 2.2 seconds off the fastest lap of the race, but we were only 0.5 seconds off the guy in eighth. So if we can get consistent, we might actually start making our way up the field quicker than we anticipated. And with that guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching 
and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.